my Aries friends, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. We are going to read today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, if I do decide to extend this reading, there will be a link. You'll see that right down below this video. The first link in the description is the link for the extended, if you so feel inclined. All right. So, I've already blessed these cards. We're just going to go ahead and cut, and then we'll get to the reading here. And thank you uh, for coming by and clicking here if you're brand new. Thank you for coming to Ten of Cups Tarot. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy your time here. And if you do, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up on a video. That is how I um, am being seen on the platform. And uh, yeah, especially if you are a sign that doesn't watch here much, um, whether you're a water sign or a fire sign, you can... Um, yeah, if you give me a thumbs up, it's going to invite more water signs and fire signs. Okay, well, the thing is this, is that I didn't cut yet, so we're not going to take these, but I never give away blessings from the universe, so we're just going to take a look at the overall energy of what's going on here. And what I think I see here for you, Aries, is somebody's on the move. Yeah, I feel like you've dropped your burdens. I feel like you're taking action. You're moving forward. I feel like you're only taking what you need with you. I feel like you've put down these these um, the memories of things that have been done to you. That is sort of the influence of uh, Uranus in um, in retrograde right now, and uh, the the mixture of that energy with the energy of the blue moon, which usually is good for about thirty days out from the event. This is what's happening now. So we've spent a year in quarantine with people that maybe we thought we liked, maybe we realized we didn't. And now there's a lot of people making big moves. So I see you here, Aries, putting down your burdens. The 10 is the maximum. It is an ending, right? So something has ended. You've stopped taking action towards something. And then we have you... Um, Checking out uh, something very carefully. Checking out over the details very carefully as a Scorpio would do. Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. That's the energy that we have here. Someone is making a decision and p making um, a new pick. Now, um, I feel like you, you aren't quite sure um, whether or not the person or whatever you're picking from here, whether that be a job or... Um, a friendship that has gone awry. You could be walking away from a friend. Take it as it resonates for you and your energy. But what I'm feeling here is, is someone who is walking away from a relationship or some sort of significant union of some kind. And um, they're walking away because that person who they thought was their soulmate is in fact not. There's no more emotion in that connection. And this person has realized that it is the best thing to walk away in temperance. See, the thing is, is this is a smart Aries. This smart Aries realizes that you don't have to wait until until you start um um, you know, get to the point where you hate each other, where you're you're um, tearing down each other's character. You know, this Aries realizes that all things can be done in love and temperance. And even, you know, there is no more emotion here, but I think this person is just quietly, you know, decided that they're moving along. And honestly, I think that it's taken, I feel like, I feel like this is the energy that started a long while back, and this is the energy that is current. That's what I feel here. This energy here, this is years. I feel like eight to 10 years this this has been something in the making this person has been trying to get away from this relationship this friendship whatever this ship is whatever ship is sinking here they've been trying to get off that ship for a long time and this is as long as they've been trying to get it off because pentacles in the tarot are years so we have someone here that is going to have to heal and i think that's the smartest thing i really you know, there, there are a lot of people who jump from relationship to relationship to person to person. And the fact of the matter is, if you don't get your shit worked out, you're just carrying all that baggage into the next relationship. But this again, this very smart Aries knows that there is some healing that must take place between here and here. I feel like this person is headed out to uh, someone that they see as... Um, 
you know, someone who is all love encompassing. I feel like the this Aries is looking at a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Could be, doesn't have to be. Could be this energy, right? Because we're not reading men or women here. We're reading energy. This could be the Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine energy, but nonetheless, the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is someone who is you know, who always tries to keep her cup full because she's constantly giving it away. Now, the Queen of Cups is in, you know, danger of becoming depleted of their energy. And um, I feel as though this Queen is in balance. So I feel like um, between the person, Aries, I feel like this is your energy coming in with an offer. And I feel like this is your person's energy waiting for you to come in with this offer. This person is highly intuitive. It's likely that they are a medium or or a clairvoyant or clairaudient, clairsentient, yeah, clairalient, something like that. This person has is is a medium who's in the might be psychic. And I feel as though this person here is probably like a card reader or something like that. So this person is highly intuitive and is actually stretching that intuitive muscle. We all have int intuition, but this person is really stretching their intuitive muscle. And then we show that somebody is dropping in with an apology here, Page of Cups. So how's that for a... Um, <laughs> how's that for a, a pre-shuffle, hey? Yeah, Aries. Wow. So all of that energy wanted to fly out. And I mean, we cannot put back those blessings from the universe. We have to know what they are, good or bad, right? <clears throat> all right. Back to the beginning. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what is in your energy, Aries. Going forward into the next week, the week ahead. What is going to be coming up on the week ahead? Now, I, I'm not putting dates on these because I find that... You will uh, you will find them uh, this reading when it's uh, when it's applicable to you. So there we go. Right. Okay, we got to do this cut before any more cards fall out. We'll be here doing a pre-read before the read forever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please tell us what is of the most the highest importance. What are the energies that Aries needs to realize in their world coming up from today and the week ahead, please? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you. Got one sticking out here. Take that one and one from the top. There we go. What's going on here? Aries. Okay, we've got movement. My goodness. So I think we've seen in the past, uh, if you're new here, you might want to go into past readings about Aries because we've been seeing Aries making small but steady, concrete strides towards something else and away from something. So away from something and towards something else. And in order for that to to be able to come together, Aries had to end something. And Aries, you've been dragging your heels on um, on ending that thing. Uh, the Queen of Swords is someone who is, um, she's going to be a little bit of a hard ass. She is kind of looked at as a little bit of a hard ass. You know, the Queen has a lot of, um, she has a lot of life lessons behind her. She has the ability to, to have conversation and make decisions based on um, what her needs are now rather than what her what everyone else's needs are this could be someone who is divorced as well so we could be coming in from a divorce yeah something that has ended here so um, I feel like somebody could end up divorced here this could be an indication that somebody is single now um, and and the queen of Queen of Swords has gone through a lot. She's learned a lot. And so she may come off as being a little hardcore, a little harsh, but she she really is just a, a product of what she's gone through in her life. Um, the death uh, card is, of course, death and rebirth, right? So when something dies, something must begin again. And it looks like, Aries, you have taken the initiative here to walk away because you know that it's done. You know that it's over. This relationship has died. So this uh, divorcee, possibly, maybe it's the person you were married to and you divorced them, made them the divorcee, but this person could have air in their chart, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, and they don't have to. This could also be in your chart, Aries. Um, 
we also have the death card which is scorpio and then we have the eight of cups which is water energy and that is scorpio pisces and cancer so let's find out a little bit more about the queen of swords aries what's going on with the queen of swords for aries please sun moon rising venus and jupiter yes okay so the queen of swords has a broken heart this also could be your energy um now the thing is is that I, I know that a lot of people get confused when you come to watch an aries reading and you're expecting me to talk about aries all the time and the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter whether you're aries or not you could be looking at scorpio energy you could be looking at libra aquarius or gemini energy so you could be an aries who actually acts like or or encompasses the energy of one of these so you don't necessarily have to be an energy uh, have to be an Aries to get something out of this reading so that's why I always welcome a cross watcher all right so let's look at the death card hmm all right someone has had an aha moment that's right someone is at an aha moment right here something came to an end and then there was a rebirth guess who was birthed Yep, the High Priestess. And so we have an Aries here, female or male, who is now acting in their own intuition. They are thinking with their higher self. They are someone who is also a keeper of secrets so you know when you when you are a high priestess chances are you um you do use some sort of divination tool like tarot and if you do you get a lot of stories of a lot of people and their backgrounds and their families and their marriages and this is something that we always keep to ourselves right we never share this information so this high priestess is someone who is um, the keeper of secrets now I feel like there is um, a queen here a queen of swords so this could be you if you're divorced this could be you if you have divorced an Aries or Aries if you've divorced someone that could be the person male or female I feel like that it wasn't easy it wasn't easy to get yourself away from this connection you knew that it was toxic you knew that it had to come to an end and it wasn't until you had this breakthrough moment of the old self passing away and the new self the higher self coming through that you actually realized it was time to go yeah so we have you here as not only you know walking you're not just walking away from these eight cups it's not anything that's sinister it's just aries it's time to go what you are looking at is eight cups some of them are full some of them are poured out you're not really sure who's going to fill up the other ones it's a lot of unsurety in this relationship that you were in in the past or the job you were in in the past and you need to have an assurity and you know that the only way you can be sure is by going toward the sun because the universe will never let you down the universe will always bless you with whatever it is you deserve so we have someone who has had an awakening of some sort uh, someone who's decided they're going towards the sun they're going towards their happiness they want to grow spiritually mentally physically professionally and this uh, fool is someone who is about to take the plunge oh Aries look at you this is not this is not an Aries thing unless you've been thinking it over for a long time which you know you have you know that even if you plan out each of these steps Aries you know that even if you get the divorce get through the heartbreak then you do the transformation you become your higher self you walk away you know that at some point there is a leap of faith that is required no matter what goes on before the leap of faith it must be done because it is something that you're jumping in to that is of the unknown now you are taking this you know she this girl here that's decided she's going to free fall into the water she is holding an amethyst so she is not without her protection wow all that on six cards huh you're gonna exhaust me tonight all right you're gonna you're gonna have to apologize to uh, leo and sagittarius if they don't get their readings this evening <laughs> okay three of swords tell me more about the three of swords too many tell me more about the three of swords please can you hear all that rumbling 
telling you, I live on a street that is about 100 feet long, and this is the drag strip of my city. Yep, we've got all kinds of middle-aged people here getting out their cars that have no cover and their motorcycles that have a modified motor made from their grass-cutting machine. <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, sorry about all that. <laughs> I just wanted to wait for them to get by before we went over. And got these cards. Okay. All right. So I feel like even though you have gone through something that I feel has either left you single or left someone else single, I feel like it was a hard time. It was a hard thing to go through. And I, I feel like even though... <coughs> even though it was hard to go through, that you're still open to love. Because this this fella here has his heart chakra open, right? He's got his heart chakra open. So um, whether you're female or male, I feel like you're ready for love. What I also feel like is in the midst of chaos, I do call this chaos. <laughs> this here is chaos, right? The look on that girl's face. This is chaos. You know, becoming single, raising your voice, saying things you never said before to people you never saw. This this woman here has put her heart in the crate because she is not feeling emotion through any of this. She's telling the truth. And the truth doesn't have much to do with emotion. So in the midst of all this chaos, as things are breaking up, maybe some, you know, call, name calling, character assassination, somebody's heart is breaking, things are going awful and sideways, someone drops in on you and wants to give you a message. And you haven't heard from this person for a very long time. Yeah, and I think it does something to your heart chakra, Aries. It does something to your heart chakra. Now, there's a pig flying here, so that's why I think that you haven't heard from them in a very long time, plus the fact that we have pulled the Knight of Pentacles here, and the Knight of Pentacles is moving really slow. Of course, because of wanting to go over the details, not wanting to make any mistakes, right? The Pentacles still are a representation of years. So this, this that's going on here, this person, you have not heard from them in years, but knowing that there is a message that came in from them, it opens up your heart chakra. So I feel like you have love for this person. You know this person. You and this person have a history. And we have the Four of Cups. I feel as though you're really... The reason that you are going forward with this new start here is because you're just really kind of bored with what's going on. And it's not really just boredom. You know, we have four cups, four cups, that's emotion. Um, but I feel as though that you're letting everything pass you by. I feel like you're you're almost in a depression here. That's what I see. You know, I see that you're in a depression. You're not excited about anything. And make no mistake, if you used to love something a lot and you don't love that thing anymore and you don't care if that thing, you know, lives or dies or does what it does i'm talking about like maybe you you maybe you were creative and you used to paint and you have no interest in painting anymore yeah that's depression and i feel like you thought you know what i am not getting stuck in this depression i am not i need a new adventure so i think that's what's going on here aries but this is interesting you haven't heard from this person in a very long time in years in fact and this person busted open your heart chakra like when you look at these energies, they're very opposite, right? They're very different. It's like your your heart is in such pain and then boom, it's open. The heart chakra is open because of a message you have received from someone of long ago. Someone, and it could be someone that you've had an age difference with. So it could be someone who's older than you or younger than you. Let's look at the page of cups, please. Clarify more for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Page of Cups. Yep, there we go. Heart Chakra is open. Knight of Cups, you're planning on taking in love to someone. There is an opportunity here, and it is an opportunity for love. Yep, and this is someone that you haven't seen in a long while. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles for Aries, please. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, somebody really has had an awakening here. I'm just going to look at this stuff up close. Look at this. So the, the death of self 
and the rebirth is right here, right? The death and the rebirth is right here. Um, you can see that they are very similar. And then we have someone who has their death or rebirth and then realizes what the heck it is that they got to do. And what do they do? get the heck on their motorcycle and get over there. So I feel like for any of those of you who are waiting for an Aries to contact you, I feel like Crosswatcher, your communication could be coming in a matter of days because the Knight, the Knight of Swords, Swords are days in the tarot. Yep, here comes the good news. So um, going on a different path and passion, wanting to have fun, being excited, feeling giddy again, getting some good news about, you know what, you no longer have to be bored here. It's a new start. You no longer have to be bored. Here comes the good news. We have someone who is going to quickly contact someone within the next few days. Now the knight doesn't have a number, so I don't know how many days, but swords are days. And I feel like somebody is in a hurry to contact someone, Aries, you are in a hurry, to contact someone to let them know that you have always loved them. Because someone on a first date doesn't do this usually. That's someone who has been in this relationship for a while right? That's someone who is really trying to be a little bit extra because I feel like you know the person that you are headed off to see Aries. And I think that that's why you're being a little bit extra. So um, we have uh, the Knight of Swords right next door here, which tells me that you want to go in fast to give somebody the good news. So the good news is, yeah, there is love here still. And I feel like with this broken heart, you know, I feel like there's such depth of despair here. For this person to be able to open up your heart chakra, you know, within days of you getting this news, then you're, you're all of a sudden on your way to that person. It's almost as if you felt as though... Just listening. Yeah, it's almost as if you thought that, that there was no chance that this person that you're taking the offer to, that they would accept it. Yeah. To be honest, I don't, I am not drawn to a specific energy as to who your person is, to be honest. Well, let's go with some oracle cards here. Let's go with some oracles and we'll just uh, get a little bit more information about what's going on here for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There we go. Ooh, we got one already. That one is denial. Okay, somebody had been in denial. Denial? says, uh, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, somebody did wake up. And Aries, I think it was you. Somebody had an aha moment right here. The death card and the high priestess. Yeah, and that's what made you, that's what made you grab your horse and, and walk <laughs> for 10 years. <laughs> No, I feel like you realize that, that the, the opportunity is there. The opportunity is still there, and I think you thought the opportunity was gone. Yeah, with the person, with this person who is the divorcee, I think that this person spoke up. They sent you a message. You, your heart chakra opened immediately, and there you go. You're off to get whatever you feel that you need to claim. Who or whatever, whatever situation or whatever person. It's totally up to you, right? Okay, let's take another card here. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Patience. There we go. Patience says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. This has been years because this person, Aries, whatever it is um, that you, um, whoever it is that you know, I think that your patience was the reason why this is going to work out now. So if you are the Aries that I'm talking to that's going to take an opportunity into whomever is, is in your future, and we'll figure that out more probably as we go into the extended reading, um, the person 
that is your person is way open. They're wide open to you. All you need to do really is, yeah, walk over there and smile, kind of. Your person is going to say yes. So I think that you've had the patience because you understand that there is divine order and you understand divine timing. So you knew that you couldn't push this whole issue before you were ready. You got empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Excellent. And that's exactly what you need. And the reason that you didn't go before now, Aries, is nothing more than you were not ready. Yeah. You weren't ready and that's just the facts. Then we've got honesty. We are going to have a conversation. I feel it. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So I think you're a little bit leery here, Aries. You're a little bit eerie, uh, uh, eerie, leery about um, the conversation that may go down. I think that you are um, wanting to be honest with your person, and you're really hoping your person is going to be honest with you. Um, I think you're approaching them in total empathy. Um, if that is what is needed for the situation, I feel like you need to see both sides of the situation in order to understand why you were in such denial while you were waiting to go towards this person. I love that this reading is mostly about you. I love that because sometimes I start reading and it's the energy of a cross watcher that I feel, which is good too, but um, it's good for you to get the opportunity to look from the cross watcher side, but today it's nice to get to read for Aries. Yeah, so we've got denial. We've got uh, Eight of Pentacles. Now, Eight of Pentacles, I think you were have been in denial about a past relationship for a very long time, and it could be for eight years. Um, I feel like maybe the relationship that you were in, Aries, or are currently in and wiggling out of, I feel like you um, have been in that relationship for quite some time, and you're just, you're just doing the same old thing, right? You're repeating cycles over and over and over again, hoping it's going to get better, and the truth is, is that you're in denial about that. Because if the cycle keeps repeating and you don't like the cycle, then you need to get out of the cycle or you need to shut up about being in the cycle. <laughs> yeah, you were in denial that you thought that you had the happiest ever. You already thought you found your happiness. But the truth is you didn't. The truth is, is that your happiness came with a price. That's what I just heard. Why did that come with a price? Aries, your happiness came with a price. A, pri a price. The eight is working, working for money. So this is a relationship that is completely, almost totally dependent upon money received and money spent. There's somebody here that's a gold digger. <laughs> yup, gold digger. You guys know the song. You know it. And now it's going to be in your head forever. All right. <laughs> yeah. I think that... Um, you jumped into this relationship. I don't know what kind of relationship it is, which whether it's a marriage or whatever it is, but we can clarify that in the extended. Um, what I see here, though, is that you really just jumped into the relationship. I feel like the marriage, marriage union, relationship, living common law, I don't care what it is in your situation, but pick whatever's your situation. I feel like you've been in this relationship between eight and ten years, but I think probably after the seven or eight year mark, you didn't have any more emotion for it. Then you were just stuck in the cycle of denial, going round and round and round, knowing that this was not what you wanted, this was not what you signed up for, but you had jumped into it really quickly, right? The fool in reverse. You had jumped into it quickly, and you made your decision on the snap of a, of a dime. I feel like it was... It was an emotional decision and you got into this relationship or got married or whatever it was. And I feel like right now we could be at the 8 to 10 year mark. Of course, it could be longer. But I feel like in the after about the 8th, 8 to 10th year of the, of the union, I feel like there was nothing less left. But you stayed anyway. Yeah. Why? Because you were in denial. That's why. Yeah. You're in denial. You thought that, you know what, maybe we should just be bored and not really care for each other, not really like each other, not really, you know, not, you know, maybe just be friends for a while until we walk off this earth into our graves. But I think you realize that that's not what you're here for, Aries. 
it's not what you're here for at all. You're here to live and love and have fun and have empathy and be patient and, you know, have the best sex of your life and race on motorcycles and walk with horses in the bush and all kinds of stuff. There's so much more out there than living in a situation that doesn't fulfill you. You are not fulfilled with that Ten of Cups in reverse. We have patience. Patience about feeling like the wounded warrior. I feel like you're probably seeing someone, talking to a psychologist, seeing someone who is a professional. Yep, that's helping you drop those burdens. And I feel like this has been um, a bigger part of why you haven't moved forward. I think that what you decided you needed to do first was get it right. You know, get balanced, see a psychologist, psychiatrist, get those walls down, stop identifying as someone who's wounded. Yeah, get those walls down. Empathy. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Okay, so um, in the situation, there's no passion, I believe. So I feel like in the situation you were in, Aries, there was no passion. You didn't feel like you really had the ability to do what you wanted. There wasn't much good news. You, I feel like that you were passionate about the situation, but not necessarily passionate about the person you were with. That person bleeds money. Yeah. That person is dependent on you, is codependent. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is not only someone who um, who doesn't want to be single, but doesn't want to be single for codependent reasons. And this is because you are the bringer of stuff and things, Aries. You are the person who has the money. You are the bringer of stuff and things. You are the bringer of passion. You decide when, you know, when the family goes away for a holiday. Like, it, it's, I feel like it's... This person isn't really interested in anything you have to say. I feel like this person does their own thing. That sounds to me a bit like Virgo. Um, but this person does their own thing. They want to be in charge. You are the Aries. You are the one that wants to be in charge. And this whole thing just isn't working. It's not working, yeah. So it came to an end. We have honesty. What are you being honest about now? Aries, what are you being honest about? What are you being honest about, Aries? Oh, you've decided that you can. You've decided that you're going to manifest this person to come towards you. I feel like in the past you had been manifesting this person to come toward you until you realized that... What are the words I'm thinking of? You thought that loving them was out of the question. And they, they contacted you, opened the heart chakra, and you realized that there really was happiness at the end of all of this. So I feel like you, you, you're trying to manifest having a conversation with this person, and this person did contact you. So guess what, Aries? Guess who is a master, master manifester? You are. Yep. So for those of you who have had someone who have contacted you after a long while, someone you've been thinking about for a very long time, it could be someone who you feel is a soulmate or a twin flame, someone you feel you're energetically connected to. The honest thing is that you want to talk to them, but you can't. You want to love them, but you can't. And you, this makes you completely and totally over the top with your emotions. You really miss whoever this person is. You miss your new person. Um, and it says here, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can always expect the truth from myself. And I think you're being honest with yourself, knowing that you need to manifest more things to come toward you, because right now you are not in a position, until this ends, you're not in a position to make communication with this person, right? page of uh, swords in reverse and you're not able to love this person until you get completely honest with yourself and decide um, what it is that you are going to do in order to be with the person that you want to be with now like i said i don't know who that is we're going to dig into it find out who you're going to be having this new start with um, in the extended if you would like to come to the extended and watch that with us uh, that's cool and um, yeah we're going to find out <sighs> yeah we're going to talk more about this knight of swords and what is coming that you don't see I feel like something's coming that you don't see and um, 
yeah, we're going to get a little bit more information about this this um, this way that you have woken up here, this aha moment that has brought Aries to this point. So if, uh, if this is where we do part ways, Aries, thank you very much for coming here and watching this. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up so we can get more Aries to join us on the platform. And if you are the person who's coming over to the extended, I will see you there in a minute or two.